tell us all one item we must have in our kitchen to become a better chef. What would that be, Bobby? A personal chef. <laughs> personal. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> if we can't afford the personal chef. Yeah, exactly. What do we do? I'm available, by the That's way. That's right. Um, For free, right? You know, I mean, all kinds of things. Uh, you know, we were talking before. I, I love cast iron pans. First of all, a cast iron pan will last forever if you take care of it. And when I say forever, I mean you can pass it down for generations. It's uh, it, it's inexpensive. It really holds the heat really well. It helps you cook things correctly. I, I love a cast iron pan. Obviously, a good set of knives is really important. Make sure that you keep them sharp. If uh, if you can't if you're not good at sharpening your own knives, take them to a, there's a place in the Chelsea Market that sharpens knives for you know for a couple of bucks. It's worth it to make sure that you have a, a really good set of knives and then so, and then some good pots and pans. Right. Quality and you want quality pots and pans, but you want you want to make sure it's the weight that is comfortable for you. That's not true. too heavy, right? Not too light. Somewhere in the middle, something something that that makes sense for you. All right, now I want you to help everybody out with their romantic life here. If you're going to cook, if you're not the best chef in the world, but you want to cook something for somebody on a date to impress them, something that's not going to embarrass you, that you're not going to mess up, you're going to be a little bit nervous doing it. What would you recommend? Oh, any dish. Any dish, but something that you know the average person can do. Well, let's put it this way. What's impressive? The most important thing is to cook with. Just cooking for somebody will be impressive. I mean, because it's effort, it's time, it's romantic. You know, it, it's, uh, it says that you're going the extra step. It's not like, let's just go have a cocktail uh, or let's go make reservations. Right. Although I do want you to make reservations in my restaurant if you don't <laughs> want to cook at home. But um, I think the most important thing before we get to the actual dish is to cook within yourself. Right. Don't try to overdo it. The simplest things are the better. In fact, I would say that my food over the last 30 years has gotten simpler, not more complex. Right. When I was a younger cook, I just felt like I needed all the bells and whistles on the dishes. It's not so much the case anymore. I want simple, but I want well executed, and I think you should do the same thing. My wife has a repertoire of about five or six dishes. You know, there's a pasta dish, there's a chicken milanese dish, there's a steak, there's you know, and, I, and there's a, there's an egg dish. I think that if you have four or five dishes in your repertoire, you will then sort of build them on your own as you go on. I would think if you're Bobby Flay's wife, you'd never need to cook again. I mean, <laughs> well, right? that's true. I'm her short order cook. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she Stephanie asked me for something, and I make it because it keeps me out of the doghouse.